brought out with me today is uh, another example of a Civil War rifle. This one's a uh, uh, 1873 trap door. It's an original. Somebody cut it down and uh, made a carbine out of it, or if you're an American, a carbine out of it. And uh, it's uh, shoots pretty good. Front sight's off a little bit. I gotta do some work with that. I gotta put a taller blade in here. Hopefully it has the original style mount or I can just take that pin out and replace the blade. It's a little bit to the left as well. But oh well, that's uh thing's been around for about 130 years I guess. Carter Chase is 1879. And uh I slugged the bore in this one and it's out to uh 461 plus. Uh, so, of course, the first few uh, rounds I tried, the, the bullet tumbled. I was using 459 uh, slugs, which is about as, uh, they're 500 grainers as well. And that's as big as I could find. I found when I, I, I cast my own for this, I found that uh, Lee has a nice die. I tried them, they're hollow base, 459, 405 grain. And I'll tell you, that was the cure. This thing doesn't uh, doesn't keyhole anymore. No more bullet tumbling. So I got a bunch of them here. Some are smokeless. Uh, some of them are in black. These uh, fellows here, nice long cartridge for these. And uh, I'm gonna squirt off some of the black ones first. I got this rig here. It's a uh, it came with a, another rifle. I had a guy who used to shoot black powder. Uh, it's a plastic tube in a 4570 case. Now, in between shots, you stick this in, in there and you blow through the tube, and that keeps the uh, fouling soft from the uh, from the black powder, of course. Alrighty, get everything set up now. Hit anything with this fella? See the sights are, uh, I gotta get going and do a little work in the front sight on this thing. I guess ideally I'd melt that solder. But that sounds like a joyous job. Anyway, I'm gonna go with these first. They're uh, 405 grain, uh, hollow base, 459. Uh, I cast them from wheel weights. In a Lee mold, and uh, I was kind of wondering about that mold when I first took it home and looked at it. With the, it's a bit of a the uh, contraption for uh, making a hollow base, but I'll tell you that thing works great. And uh, since I started using these uh, Lee uh, cast bullets with the hollow base, uh, the base swells up, makes up for the the worn bore in this thing because the rifling is there and uh, that's about all I can say about the rifling it's there. I've retrieved a couple of these bullets and uh, you can see the rifling in them so they're working good I haven't had any of these uh, tumble and uh, they work good I'm quite pleased with them so uh, as I said this is a black powder cartridge so we'll uh, stick them in there and make some smoke and noise and See if we're gonna hit that uh, target. That's about 75 uh, yards, I guess. Let's see what happens here. Thing about these trap doors, they're pretty serious about spitting out the uh, spent case. Do another one, do about three, see if we hit anything.
Apparently the moisture from your breath when you do that keeps the uh, fouling soft. You hit anything? Wouldn't surprise me if I didn't. Uh oh. What do you know? Plugged it. I didn't like it. Considering where I got the, where I had to put the front sight, that's uh, that's not bad. I uh. I had to put the front sight pretty much in the bottom left so I can barely see it and then try to guide the bullet that way. See, I'm going to toss a couple more down there, see what happens. Aiming really low, so I gotta, gotta do something with that. See, even looking through it through the rear side and see things as crooked as a politician. Yeah. I'll do one more. I'll save some for uh, under yard. There's so much snow here. By the time you get back to 100 yard target, your uh, feet are soaked. Let's try this again. Sulfury smell of the powder black stuff. Looks like, man, <laughs> considering I'm pretty much aiming at the bottom of the target, they're doing okay. I'm gonna back this off because I kind of get a kick out of watching the video later. I notice you can actually see the bullet going there. But you're not getting, uh, not getting uh, super high velocity by any means with the black powder. Let's go a little lower here. Let's see what I come up with it. This, uh, this little gun has actually a pretty nice trigger on it. Pretty good belt to it too. Let's go and get the left target.
Smoky, smoky. Love it. Okay, got her cleaned out. Just give you an idea what uh, kind of mess you're in for if you start using black. It's uh, good fun, but it's certainly not good clean fun. There's uh, another one there. Cleaning patches. And that's after uh, running the, the uh, brass brush through it. So I uh, swabbed her all out and uh, I still got some hollow base left. These are smokeless and trapdoor loads, so I'm going to stick them in there and see if I can hit anything with it. I got to, seriously got to do some work in that front sight. Thank <laughs> you. 